whole sea foam. We're gonna break it up into thirds, three cups. Alright, we're going to do a third into the gas tank, third into the oil, and a third into the vacuum system that goes directly into the intake. Um, with the gas, you typically want to do it on a quarter tank of gas. Alright, like I said, third into the gas tank on a quarter tank of gas because you don't want it sitting in there for that long. That's what I got, is I got a quarter tank of gas right now. take another third, put it into the oil of the vehicle. Also you want to do this um, probably about 500 miles before you change your oil because this is going to loosen everything up. This is going to get all the gunk off the inside of it, all the sticky stuff. Here comes the fun part. The last third is going to go into our vacuum system, which you can get any vacuum line that goes into the intake. Um, on my Jeep here, we're a little bit limited, so we're using one that's not highly recommended, but it's really our only option. First you want to do is start the vehicle. We'll cut this part out. <laughs> and a third goes into the back of the vehicle, into the screen and the intake. So right here, with the vehicle running, the vehicle is going to die, so that's completely normal. Do it slowly so the vehicle doesn't die before you get all the way to it. sit here for about five minutes and we will be back. I think you've got a better exhaust leak. Wait a <coughs> yeah. We let it sit for about five minutes so all the uh, sea foam can soak in and get all the uh, crud and crap off the inside of the intake. We're going to start it off and see what happens.
darker, but uh, basically we're gonna let it sit here until it finishes uh, smoking, which will mean all the carbon and everything from the inside of the intake will be burnt off. That's the whole point of it. Um, so if you did it right, it is supposed to smoke exactly like this. Um, if you do it and it's not smoking this deep, then obviously your intake is a little cleaner than you thought. And that's it. That's how you see a vehicle.